my another tutorial on Java GUI programming. In this video, I will show you how to work with different swing controls in NetBeans IDE, their properties and different events. To have a real-time situation, I have taken a case study that came in the board examination for informatics students. You can have a look at the question. This is the form. And for this function, we have to write a Java code. Firstly, we have to design such a form which I have already done by dragging the components on the form. Now I can see that the title of the form here is Kiddy Land and I will do the same for my application by just clicking on the form and write the title in the title property. The next thing we have to set the value of additional discount and net amount as 0. To do this, I can simply put their values 0. But alternatively, I can write a simple Java code to perform this function. Now I right click on the form, go to events and window and window open property. Now as soon as the form will be opened, the value of the two text fields will be zero. Now we have to also set them as uneditable. And same for the JTX field 5. Now we have to calculate discount as per the given criteria here and we have to display that in JTEX field 3. But before we calculate discount we have to also use a button group so that only one of these radio button is selected at a particular time otherwise they will act as a check boxes. So I will drop a button group. Now on the action performed event of the calculate discount button. Firstly we have to get the amount from the JTEX field 2. We are using double because the amount could be in decimal values. Now the criteria for the J, J radio button one that is platinum is 20% of the amount. And for the second radio button gold is 15% and then, then the third for 10%.
now we have to also set additional discount if the bill amount go goes above the 25000 and we have to set that in jtx field 4 And now we have to print these values. See that the value for these text field is 0 and they are also uneditable. Now I will put the values. You can see that the discount is calculated as per the criteria and only one of the video button is selected at a time. Now for the third part we have to calculate net amount when we click on calculate net amount button as per the criteria and discount we have to minus the discount and calculate the net amount and display the same in JTX field 5. Now I will go to the calculate net amount button section performed event. Because we have to calculate the discount again, so I will just copy the coding from here. We don't need this. Now we will initialize another variable. Now we have to display the same in JTX field 5. Now you can see that the NAND amount is calculated. One thing what I miss out that is we have to enable the calculate NAND amount button when we click calculate discount button. That means we have to disable this on the window opened event first then we have to enable the, enable the same. So first to disable. I will go back to the window opened event. Now to enable the same. When we click the calculate discount button.
can also write the coding for the exit button here. Now you can see that the button is disabled and the form is opened. And when we click the discount button, the net amount becomes enabled. And the exit button is also working fine. One thing more that I would like to tell you is the concept of data validation. As you can see that here a, a user can enter an invalid data like characters that will cause error. So to limit the user to enter valid data we can write a simple code we will right click on the jtx field 2 and go to the key typed event and write the following code Now a user cannot enter the characters in the amount text field and the values will be only between 0 and 9. Let me show you. I am typing the characters and it is not printed. As soon as I type a letter, the event is consumed by the code and you can do the opposite for the where a user have to write only characters and no number like the jtx field 1 here we will write we will remove the not operator from here and the user will only able to write characters and no numbers will be entered for more tutorials you can visit my youtube channel or visit my blog thanks for watching